Howdy folks, this is JR, and this is part three of my Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn Model Horizontal Barrel Smoker video series. And this episode I want to talk a little bit about building a fire and what I've done that has been fairly successful and I'd like to make a recommendation to you. Uh, so this is the firebox and what I've done in here is made a charcoal basket. Uh, you can also, this is a good moment to, to look up the minion method uh, which is a way of lighting a fire and the, the whole point to doing this is to get a fire that's going to last for many many hours we're talking 8 to 12 hours uh, kind of thing because you know if you're smoking a big old brisket or something like that you're going to need to go a long time uh, now you're probably going to go longer than 12 hours but uh, you can always add to the top of this uh, what this does is like if you can see down in there there is a lot of room for all your ashes to fall out. What does that do for you? Well, it doesn't choke out the fire. It keeps the fire burning hot uh, without being smothered. Uh, so how do you reduce your ash content? Well, part of the situation is you got this basket with a lot of holes in the bottom to draw air. Well, so what I do is I put one layer of the man-made charcoal briquettes in there. That right there. HEB is our local grocery mafia, so you got to support your local mafia. Central Market is their upscale subsidiary, got to support that mafia as well. So, you know, got to take care of both worlds. That's the briquettes. This is lump charcoal. I like lump charcoal. Burns hotter and longer, and should say less ash on there. Anyway, has a lot less ash. I take that stuff, load it up to the top. If I'm doing a long smoke, I'd load it up to the top, almost to the top. Get your HEB wood smoking chunks, remember, local mafia, and uh, this time I got hickory. You can get whatever you want. But uh, what I do with these chunks is I put them down inside in between here, nice and wet. They smoke a long time. They don't they don't burn up and flare up like if you were to throw it directly on the fire. Sometimes, hey man, you want to have a dry smoke, so you use dry dry wood, you can throw it right on there, whatever you want. But this does give me the option to put in wet right at the beginning. Uh, so what you have now is a basket filled up. Then, now guys, I got to tell you, I used to be a lighter fluid maniac. I used to light my stuff with gasoline whatever fluid I could find to get the charcoal going I would use it now I gotta tell you this baby right here has is really a hell of a lot easier and a lot more consistent and it makes me happy remember be happy so you load this thing up with about 20 briquettes of that stuff put a couple newspapers in the bottom well not in that order vice versa light the newspaper about 15 minutes later, you got good hot coals. Load them, pour it in, load it up on top of there, and you're good to go. You got a good fire; it's gonna last you for hours. Look up menu method; They're, they describe it a lot better than I have. But uh, that's this is part three. Yep. Stay tuned for more.